Mtazamaji visa vya wanafunzi kuaga dunia katika vyo vikuu vyo vya kati na hata kwenye taasisi za kiufundi hapa nchini Kenya vinaendelea kuzidi tu kila wakati. Lakini visa hivi aswa vinatokana na nini na vinazababishwa na nini? Jina langu ni Charles Kangwana na leo hapa niko kwenye chuo kikuu cha Masai Mara hapa kwenye kaunti ya Narok ili tujue mengi kuhusiana na vifo vya wanafunzi katika vyo vikuu jinsi ambavyo tumekuelezea. Hii ni Kangwana Media nami ni Charles Kangwana. Um, Mfamisha mtazamaji wa Kangwana Media jina lako nasoma wapi hapa na unafanya kozi ipi alafu utupatie maoni yako ni gani? Nama kwa jina naitua Victor Koecha ma Viki Koecha kama wengi wanavujua uh, Niko katika mwaka wa pili na somea utangazaji kwa lugha ya kiswahili Na solahili la wanafunzi wa vio viku vya TVET na masomo yote tu ya juu na dhani Wengi wametoka shule ya upili wakio wamefungiwa sa wakifika chokiku wakona uwe ile pressure Katika mausiano, mapenzi, wengine wanajusisha na masuala ya miadarati Unapata wengine, wengi ambao wamewawa, umesikia ni katika wanasema hizo manait, manait, manait parties hizo Wengine wana, wanasema wanajusisha na mapenzi na watu wengi ya ukiona na kuplay Asa unajua kuna wengi ya wana roo ya utu Asa wana, wana, wanaishia ku, kuwana vifo, vifo nyingi ambao umesikia katika vio viku Wengi wamekuwa kiwana wakiwa kwa ba kwa ma clubs wametoka kubugia wengine wamevuta bangi unapata sasa wanauana na nadhani kinachochangia kwa ukubwa sana ni haya masuala ya miadarati na vile vile kutoka shule ya upili wanakuwa waje waje exports na masuala kama yasa wakija uh, vio vikuu wanajihusisha na mambo kama hayo na wanaishia kuuana ku nadhani ni hivyo na labda masuala mengine ni Tuseme tu ni hizi mambo na ku, ku, kuna sema kwa kingereza ku play una msichana na mplay mvulana ako na wavulana wengi sasa yule kijana ato anaweza kuwa amespend amespend sana kwa yule msichana na mwisho akiona ni kama ametumia vitu vyake vingi anaishia kumuua mm. Na labda rai langu kwa wanafunzi wa vio viku ili kupunguza masuala ya vifo Ntua rai yao ambao wanatembea usiku, wanaenda bashes za usiku Wa avoid sana, wa, waipuke kutembea usiku Kwa kuna wale wezi ambao wanatembea usiku kwa ibia watu Wengine wako na nia tofauti Na wakikosa kile ambacho wanataka, mibi wataku, watakuwa Sasa itabidi muepukane kutembea usiku Na kama itatokea mtembe usiku mtembe kwa makundi usitembe mwenyewe kwa kuwa watakabiliana na wewe vilivyo na utaishia kufa alafu swala lingine ni ili la wanafunzi wa vio vikuu ambao wanajihusisha kwa mapenzi wapo ni lazima ujihusishe na mapenzi basi kuwa loyal kile ambacho unatafuta kwa wewe boy wako ambaye uko naye mwingine yako naye yani wanaume wote ni sawa Hakuna kitu, nasema yeti, oh, unasikia wengine pia wanasemanga all men are the same. Ni hivu ukweli kabisa. Uyu ukisema wanjui yako na boy wake, aki muona mwingine, uye mwingine mwenye unamuona, ni kila ambacho wako kwanza yako na ya. Sasa, we remain loyal tu. Alafu sola la mwisho ni ya wazazi. Eh, wazazi, chokikuba na masola <laughs> ni mengi, tunaumia. Kuna kitu wanasema kuinama. Kama usha isikia yo bana, mzazi mwanafunzi ya kukupigia simu, ana, anaisi njaa, ana pesa, mpe. Kwa sababu unaona wengi ambao wana pesa ya matumizi, vyo viku, watashia kuenda kwa babas kama kina kipro papo wa mesema, kina Rachel. Ni umaskini ama pesa ya matumizi za mtaji ya zipo. Niposa wanienda kwa baba, so wanakuwa na wanume wengi na wanaishia kwa wa, ku, kutokana na umaskini ama pesa za matumizi na wana wawa. Alright, wana ito wako H hapa tu Masaimara University ya nazungumzia kusia na hasua sababu kuu ya wanafunzi kuwawa ni ipi kwenye masomo ya ngazi za juu. Jina labda pia unafanya kozi ipi hapa na ukumwaka ngapi elafu tupatie maoni yako. Ok, kwanza kabisa jina langu naitua Felix Masai. <laughs> Niko katika mwaka wa pili katika isho kikucha masa imara. Uh -huh. eh, kama ambavyo umesema wanafunzi katika choki kuu. Uh -huh. Na hata zile ambavyo, ambavyo tunazita tivets. Uh -huh. Wanapata changamoto, changamoto nyingi sana. Na kwanza kabisa unapata ukosefu wa chakula. Uh -huh. Uwafanya wanafunzi wengi kujiingiza katika mambo ambayo ya uh -huh. Wanajiingiza katika mambo inayo sababishia, ina, inayo letea madhara. Uh -huh. Wengine ya di uenda uenda kutumia miadarati ambapo unapata ya kwamba wanafunzi wengi 
-hmm. wanafunzi wengi hasa aswa large number ambayo tunasema large number kwa kimombo mm -hmm. wana, wanajiingiza katika matumizi ya miadarati mm -hmm. ambayo inawaleta changamoto mengi kama vile mm -hmm. health internal health problems mm -hmm kama mafua vile ugonjwa zinginezo ambazo uwafanya uwafanya wengine hadi kuaga dunia na wengine upote, upotelea upotelea popote pale so mi ningependa kusema kwamba serikali ingependa kutoa mbinu mbinu muhimu zaidi ambayo itasaidia wanafunzi hawa kuishi vizuri hapo chuoni na hata pia serikali ya shule hapo pia that is executive school executive kutoa mbinu mbinu muhimu ambayo itasaidia wanafunzi hawa kuishi vizuri hapo shuleni. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Jina langu ni Angela Shama na fanya kozi ya Kiswahili and Media Studies niko katika mwaka wa kwanza. Maoni yangu katika swali hili ni kuwa wanafunzi wengi wanaaga kwa sababu ya wasiwasi haswa kwa wanafunzi wanaoendelea Ukiondoa wanafunzi wa mwaka wa kwanza sababu yangu kusema hii ni kwa sababu unapata mwanafunzi wa kuwe, mwanafunzi wa chuo kikuu amekuwa amekuwa katika raha kama hizo za mapenzi ambazo mwenzangu amesema wengine wamekosa wanafanya vitu wanajunga na vitu vingi na unapata inapofika wakati wao kukalia mtihani wanakosa wanakosa alama ama wanaperform wana vibaya so unapata wanakuwa na wasiwasi wa Tuseme mwanafunzi wa mwaka wanini atakuwa na wasiwasi wakati wa graduation hata kuwa kwa list ama wakati wa matokeo, matokeo yake ni mabaya. So unapata mwanafunzi huyo, the only option anabaki nao ni kujiua. Hiyo, hayo ndo mauni yangu. Uh, kwa majina nafamika kama wanjohi purity, mwanahabari na niko mwaka wanne hapa chuo kikucha masaimara. Kusiana na hili swala la mauaji hapa katika chuo kikuu Kwanza kabisa naonelea ni ile lack of, mo, lack of emotional deficiency. Unapata wanafunzi wanapofika katika chuo kikuu, wazazi wanawachilia. Wa, the society itself, it expects them to behave as the cream of the society. Wanajua ya kwamba unapofika katika chuo kikuu, you can make wise decision, you are sharp. So unapata... Wanafunzi wengi walifika katika chuo kikuu na bado hawajaweza kucontrol zile hisia zao. Mkiwa katika mahusiano msana amekukasirisha au yule mpenzi wako amekukasirisha, hujui u behave aje, hujui u control zile emotions zako vipi. Hiyo ndio one of the reason yenye wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu wamekosa hiyo emotional defi emotional deficiency ingine pia naonelea hii mambo ya wanafunzi kuishi katika hostel za nje pia ni chanzo kikubwa sana cha haya mauaji manake wanafunzi wanapoishi katika ndani ya chuo kuna ile security like we are assured of the security kuna how security wa shule kuna polisi like we are assured of the security unlike huko nje kuna insecurity cases wanafunzi wako na madarasa ya kwanza saa moja hiyo madarasa ya usiku unapata wanafunzi wakitembea huko usiku wanauawa kwa ajili wanafunzi wa wako na vitu kama zile laptops hizo simu zao ni za bei gali sana so unapata watu huko nje wana na pia hizi help help inapotoka unapata watu wanajua wanafunzi wako na pesa sasa unapata mauaji yanatekelezwa huko nje wakitaka kuaibia wale wanafunzi so suluhisho naonelea vyo vikuu uh, vijenge hostels nyingi hapa nje na pia security yongezwe kama ni hiyo mambo na emotions hisia wacha ianze pale katika chekechea wacha ianze katika umri mdogo wacha kila mja afunzwe venye anafa ku control hisia zake manake unapata yes umri mwanafunzi ashafikisha 18 and above but still haizi ku control zile emotions zake uh, vile vile kangwana uh, kwa haya masuala ya mapenzi lazima tu katika chuo kikuu lazima tu watu at, kwa wakati mmoja tu au mwingine lazima tu utajipata umejiingiza katika masuala ya mapenzi na mimi naona cha muhimu sana ni 
watu wafunzwe ile exit strategy yes umejiingiza katika mapenzi itafikia wakati mmekosana na yule mpenzi wako ikifikia wakati kama ule mtafanya aji utajitoa aji katika hiyo situation lazima watu wafunzwe hiyo mambo na kujitoa katika haya maswala na mapenzi baada ya kukosana ili ku avoid hizi issues za watu kuana hizo issues na frustrations sasa naonelea vio vikuu katika suluhisho wacha vio vikuu viongeze zile counseling sessions na pia zile therapy sessions wakati mtu ameachwa uh, tunapata kuna ile counseling department na izaenda hapo nijieleze alafu pia nipate wale watu ambao wamekwa katika ile counseling department ni watu wenye wako ready kusikiza ni watu wenye wa, wanajua hizi experiences at least msitwekea hawa watu waze waze wenye hawaelewi experiences na mambo yenye tunapitia na na mnafahamika kama tetu mike niko katika chuo kikuu cha Masaimara mwanafunzi wa mwaka wa pili nafanya kozi ya mawasiliano na utangazaji kwa lugha ya kimombo na katika swali la leo ni kuhusu mauaji yanayoendelea katika vyo vikuu common yangu ma, ya kwanza ni mapenzi wanafunzi wengi wanajihusisha katika mapenzi na swala hilo linachangia kwa, kwa vifo vingi aswa kuna kwa, katika habari mingi tumesikia tumekuwa tukisikia kwamba unapata mwanafunzi amejiangusha kutoka tuseme gorofa amejirusha kutoka juu ya gorofa akaanguka akakufa ingine ni kuhusu matumizi ya madawa za kulevia ambapo unapata wanafunzi wengi wanajihusisha na madawa alafu wakati wao shalewa wanauawa alafu wanaibiwa yeah Oh, my name is Raquel Odiambo. I'm a student here at Musemara University. I'm in second year and I'm doing Kiswahili and journalism. Now, my take on the what is causing most of the deaths in the campus, I think the background, the poverty from home, maybe you find somebody here in school. Now, the background back there, things are not that much well. So when she or he comes here, she wants to fit in those classes like here we have the social class is very high so i want to put myself in that class but i can't manage so i'll end up going to look for the so-called wababas to finance you so that you can at least pick a look you look very good so that pressure the moment somebody is taking out his money to sustain you and then you do as he or she wants it will lead to like you want to be in good terms and then at the end of the day you find that somebody is taking your life and stuff and stuff so i think that's my opinion i think is there solution solution i think as a student you just accept yourself the way you are accept the background you come from like jikubali if something live in what you can manage like if i can get only 50 bob to sustain me in a day i budget on how to use that cash and nitosheke na yeye niko naye achana na luxury ya watu wengine unajua venye mtu amepata yake so uko hapo nitaka ukae nitaka nivae zile kladi kali kali sije nataka kuvaa like here the pressure ya kuvaa kiatu air force j4 is of ya to za 4500 so mpya nataka lazima nivae hiyo kiatu because it is a trend so lazima nitenda kama ni boy tunda kutafuta mama that ka old shosho and i'm sustain na mshosho ataka na wewe na uko na msichana mdogo I'm like you are cheating so ata kubali sapo delta that kills you find maybe the mama can take down your life yeah nam uh, majina utanita prosper wa mwando kwa jina la wanahabari utanita wp mwando prosper mtoto wa eva eh, mwanafunzi wa mwaka wa 4 nafanya journalism and kiswahili na on my take on that matter ni kwamba uh, most of the time unapata ni uh, depression depression yenye inatokana na vitu vingi tu unapata na kusota uh, kusota mtu unapata like uh, ana ta ile 50 ya 50 uh, fuliza ame, ame exhaust hasila fanda ame exhaust asa anafikiria eh nitaomba ame, ani afu ameomba akona madeni kila kona 
Asa unapata hiyo inampatia changamoto ule msongo mawazo ambayo inampelekea yeye mwenyewe kuji Uwa. na kingine ni mapenzi kama ulivyosema tu wenzangu tu mapenzi unapata mtu anaingia katika mapenzi akiwa na mia, na ile lengo kwamba eh, huyu ndio wangu paka nimalize chuo unapata ukumbe binti naye upata upande wa kijana aswa uh, ameweka miadi kwamba na ule binti wameidiana kwamba ni wewe bwana kuanzia mwaka kwanza paka mwaka wa nne afika mwaka huyo binti akifika mwaka wa pili anaona eh bwana eh bwana nitangoja sana ndo afanikiwe anabidi anaenda kwa mtu mwingine anapata anaamua eh bwana eh nilisema ni huyu kama si huyu basi bora nijitoe uhai na vitu vingine ambavyo inachangia tu ni ya, kama alivyosema story na wababa hata umetembea na baba huko nje unataka kupiga kladi nini hapata baba wetu anaona eh huyu binti nampatia pesa na kivyo vyote kwa maana wanaume jinsi walivyo wanatoa wakipokea hakuna vile anaweza toa na apokee chochote in return sasa napata anaona eh ubinti nimempatia fedha lakini kimwili ame amekataa kidogo sasa inabidi ni eh, unipe ninachotaka ama nikuwe hao domoni yangu suluhisho ni mtu tu akubali anakotoka kama alivyosema Rachel <laughs> akubali unakotoka na ukishakubali unakotoka pia utakuwa vizuri kwa maana yake mimi ushangaa ujiuliza mbona binti atembee na wababa na ukiangalia inasemekana wana, wana uwezo kukaa njaa zaidi ya siku saba wiki hiyo na uh, ikilinganisha na mtu wa kiume so ni kukubali tu na kukubali shida kwa maana ni bora ukubali hiyo shida kuliko ujitafutie shida you can solve a problem by creating a problem that's what i can say okay kwa majina kamili nafahamika kama Justin Ogari la utani tu watu kwenda kunita Ojo Mrife. Ah kwangu ningependa kusema kwamba ah kwanza kabisa anafanya Kiswahili and Media Studies mwaka wa kwanza. So ningependa kusema jambo asua uleta vifo vingi katika vyo vikuni kwamba watu wengi wamejihusisha na mapenzi, alafu mapenzi mapenzi yenyewe unapata kwamba mtu hataki ku kukaa tu na mtu mmoja mtu wake ambaye tuseme kama Justin anampenda mtu fulani unapata Justin anapenda mtu fulani fulani na fulani kwa hiyo ukipata huu mtu fulani akijua mtu fulani anapenda Justin pia Justin anapenda mtu fulani na bado anakuna yeye unajua hapo katikati kuna hizo chaos lazima wata watakosana pia hiyo kukosana ndio huleta vita vita atafuta watu tu wanakuwa hivyo hivyo mm. kama wengine wamesema umesikia kwamba kuna hizi hostel za nje actually pia mimi siamini hizo hostel ndio maana si kukaa hostel like hizo hostel za nje hakuna security totally heri hapa ndani unaweza sema unaweza sema at least hapa ndani kuna security juu uwezi kuja hapo uingie hapa utoe dustin huko ndani huko juu mpeleke huko huko ya naweza sema hivyo lakini suluhu ni kwamba wewe jikubali viloko am justin am rife hivyo I'm Nyadera Wickliffe, third year student in Masai Mara University, pursuing communication and journalism. And my take on this is, is that it is true that there is an increase in the killing in all the public universities and private. And the main reason, according to me, is that the, there is an increase in the use of social media platforms. For instance, the use of Facebook, Twitter, and also the, the Instagram. You will find that a student studying in Masinde Muliro University and the other one here in the Masai Mara University. And uh, all, both of these students, when they come together through the social media platforms, they share, they tend to share their accounts. For example, a lady and a boy. So this lady, for instance, he, he or she will go to the to the to her boyfriend's account in order to watch whatever is taking place to that account. And because of this, the lady might sometimes find that the boy has posted a lady. And because of that, this lady will. Uh, will come to realize that her boyfriend is cheating and because of that he will she will 
go on, go to a, to an extent of planning on how to kill this boyfriend of hers and uh, I will therefore recommend that all the students to see how they use the social media platforms wisely and that's my take. Uh, I'm Kipken K. Samuel. I'm a student here at Masimara University. I take communication and journalism. Um, personally, uh, the cases of death tolls has risen uh, in the country, uh, most probably in the universities. Uh, my friends here or my colleagues have mentioned about love, depression, and social media platforms and all about that. Uh, personally, I will start by depression. Depression, such a uh, depression, I G P K A K K O A issue a pesa P K A K. Like depression has a, a little bit many things in mind. Uh, for instance, uh, to answer na depression ya love story like, um, to spata um, to kama mi misasa Sam ni me penda um, to kama Rachel, uh, in such a way that ni me kuwa in love baka mind enye e me switch on ni huyo P K A K. So unapata ame kuacha. Then so bade ya kuacha. Uh, umeshindwa kupotezea so like your depression in a stick hapo uh, unamwasa ah, juu say depression imekuwa real mbwa niishi let me just nijuwe nitoke kwa hii situation uh, next thing it's all about mbabas mamas and wherever uh, wababas like for instance this thing uh, wababas we would like to give you their money well you return like just the way others have said um, I will not talk about that so much because of Mongolia. Me, I'll talk about the solution. Uh, the solution will start from the parents back at home. Uh, when you raise your children, or, or when you raise your child, be it a girl, be it a, a boy, uh, ra raise him in such a way that he understands or she understands uh, what love is, what relationship means. So that akifika uku campus, akui ile, Na pia pressure ya kusema, ah, me I need mbabas, I need what. Because me, I, I see amini kwamba, mtu anenda hapo juu ya social standards ya life ama nini na nini. It's peer pressure, like, for instance, seme recho wako rumoja na wanjuhi. Wanjuhi ya kujambia recho, mini kwa na mbabas. Recho na na feel, ah, uwe na pilekwa out every day. Mbona mi pia nisi enda after mbabas, dipelekwa out. And unapata hiyo, like, akireziwa in a church foundation. Unapata kwamba uh, akiona wanjui ya menda hivi na hivi ata mwambia ah mi, mi I don't need um, um, babas like wacha mimi the money my parent gives me it's the best for me. Um, kitu ingine siju kwa nini ya mjongelea like this, this thing like LGBTQ like for instance kuna mtu wa meuliwa mahali it was December la. Uh, this thing is also there it's something that is alarming in our society today it's something awkward let me to use that word. What wana wana jua your stuff? Like, mtu anawana like, uyu siju anafaa nini, anafaa nini, anamuwa, unawana. So like, hii kitu, we start with the society. Tukianzia society chini, ku raise the, uh, the family, the strong foundation ya children, the right standards of moral, atakuwa na issue ya death rolls. Uh, Ukiangalia okay, recently, uh, nini? Recently, mostly wanafunzo wamekua wameuliwa ni first year students. I think kuna hii groups of freshers. Mtu hameinboxiwa na kama wanaumewawili, watatu. Anakuja huku, wote hamewakubali. So, inafika hiyo freshers night, huyu anakuja, anapata mungina kwa hapa. So, like, anasema tu, ah, you can't lie to me, ni hivyo na hivyo na hivyo na, anamuwa kumuwa. So, that is my take. Na mtazamaji changamoto zinazidi kuwa nyingi katika maisha japo tunajua sababu pia ni nyingi ambazo zinachangia vifo vya wanafunzi walio kwenye masomo ya ngazi za juu. Lakini sababu pia wewe unaweza ichangia tujue ni gani? 0700684847. Kwa niaba ya mpiga picha wangu Noah Esokon kutoka hapa chuo kikuu cha Masai Mara, mimi ni Charles Kangwana, endelea kutufuatilia kwenye mitandao kijamii at Kangwana Media. Hadi wakati mwingine